Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a cubic equation. We have x cubed minus 26x plus 5 equals 0. So I'd like to present two methods, but the second method is pretty much going to be the cubic formula, uh, which is not very pleasant. But anyway, the first method is not pleasant either. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to do a little weird stuff here. Um, so I'm going to use substitution. I'm going to turn it into a parametric equation. So first of all, notice that 26 can be written as 5 squared plus 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and replace 5 with a variable. Normally, we do the opposite. So let's go ahead and replace 5 with a. And we're going to get x cubed minus a squared plus 1x plus a equals 0. Now, there is two ways to go about solving this equation. I'm going to show you both methods. Let's go ahead and do the more painful one first. So we could call this first method if you want, or 1a. So we're going to do the following. This is a cubic equation and it's parametric, so it's quite difficult to solve as is. But if you, you can turn it into a quadratic equation because we have a squared. So let's go ahead and do the following. Let's put everything on the right hand side. So we're going to get a squared plus 1x minus x cubed minus a equals 0. And now we're going to go ahead and expand this and write it as x a squared plus x minus x cubed minus a equals 0. And we're going to focus on a as our variable. So we're going to write it as x a squared minus a plus x minus x cubed equals 0. So this is a quadratic equation in a. So and we're going to treat x as a variable, uh, which is kind of weird, but that's a very common technique. So let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula. a equals negative b. b is the coefficient of a in this case, of course. 1 plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4ac. So that's going to be 4 times x times x minus x to the third power. And all of that is going to be divided by 2a, which is 2x. OK, now we got the quadratic formula, but let's go ahead and simplify what's inside the radical, because that's going to be the most interesting part. So uh, why don't we just go ahead and isolate that for now and distribute and simplify, and then we can uh, plug it back in. So it's going to be 1 minus 4x squared plus 4x to the fourth power. This may not look like a good thing, but notice we can write it like this. And if you pay attention and if you're familiar with some of the basic algebra formulas, you're going to notice that this is 2x squared minus 1 quantity squared. So that's nice because we have a perfect square inside the radical, which is perfect, right? So let's go ahead and plug it in. A can be written as now 1 plus minus the square root of 2x squared minus 1 quantity squared divided by 2x. Now, since we have a perfect square inside the radical, we can go ahead and square root it. Square root and the square cancels out, but we have to use absolute value. But the plus minus will take care of that. So we're going to get two solutions from here. A is going to be 1 plus 2x squared minus 1 over 2x, or A is going to be 1 minus 2x squared minus 1 over 2x. Notice that I'm keeping the 2x squared, min 2x squared minus 1 inside the parentheses because it'll be negated in the second case, so you want to keep that as an entity. So now if you simplify the first part, 1 is going to cancel out, that's fairly simple. Uh, 2 is going to cancel out, x is going to cancel out, so you're going to end up with something as simple as a equals x, which is cool, right? The second one is going to give you a equals 1 plus 1, which is 2, by the way. We can go ahead and write it as 2, minus 2x squared divided by 2x, and we can basically divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2, and write this as 1 minus x squared divided by x. So we solve the quadratic in terms of uh, x. We got the a values in terms of x. Great. So what does that mean? It just means that we can kind of reverse the process, switch roles, and write it as um, factored in x uh, form. OK. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyways. So here's what we're going to do. Since a equals x is a root, that means x equals a is also a root, which means x minus a is a factor. And the second one, by using cross multiplication, we can write it this way and putting everything on the right hand side, x squared plus ax minus 1 equals 0. So we basically get two solutions here, or two equations, I should say, but we can go ahead and uh, put those two together, right? So let's go ahead and do that right now. 
So the first factor is going to be x minus a. The second factor is going to be x squared plus ax plus, I mean, minus 1 equals 0. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Now, we do know that a is equal to 5 because 5 is equal to a. Remember that, right? That's our weird substitution. So we can go ahead and replace a with 5 now. So that's going to give us x minus 5 multiplied by x squared minus 5x minus 1 equals 0. As you know, this equation has three solutions. One of them is x equals 5. The other one comes from the quadratic formula, negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. That's going to give you 29 divided by 2. And those are going to be the solutions. Now, what is another approach after we do the parametrization uh, of this equation? How can we solve it, right? So let's go ahead and rewrite this equation, x cubed minus a squared plus 1 x plus a equals 0. So that was the original equation. Remember, our original problem was x cubed minus 26x plus 5 equals 0. And we said that, hey, let uh, 5 equal a. And that's what we got, right? Okay, so there's another way, obviously, to solve this equation without going into too much trouble. Let's go ahead and distribute. We're going to get the following from here. And then we can just go ahead and factor this by grouping. All right, great. So take out an x, you get x squared minus a squared. Minus 1, you're going to get x minus a. x squared minus a squared can be factored using difference of two squares. You know the drill, hopefully. And then from here, you're going to get a common factor, which is x minus a, which shouldn't be a surprise because we got the same result with the first method. And then you can go ahead and write this as x times x minus x times x plus a, which is x squared plus ax minus 1 equals 0. Now, if you plug back in a equals 5 or 5 equals a, you're going to get the exact same equation that we got before. And the solutions are going to be the same. Basically, you're going to get x equals 5 x equals 5, and x equals negative b, plus minus the square root of 29 over 2. There are three real solutions to this cubic equation, which indicates or which means that when we take a look at the graph of it, uh, it's going to have three x intercepts. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graph now and see what that looks like. Okay, and before we look, look at the graph, I just want to mention something real quick here. Obviously, if you notice that we don't have to go into this param parameter thing, you could also write this as x cubed minus 25x minus x plus 5, and by uh, grouping by factoring by grouping uh, will also work here in this case. So I just wanted to mention that real quick before we take a look at the graph of this beautiful cubic equation that has 3x intercepts. And those are going to be the solutions. Well, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Don't forget to watch the shorts. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.